Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting a seascape and I do believe I haven't done a seascape for a very very long time a lot of you have been asking me to do one so I decided to well to do a seascape this one is going to be quite simple you will see when we start maybe even a lot more simple than it seems so I'm starting with my sketch and I just drew the horizon line just beneath the center of my paper and then I drew in a couple of uh, distant shores and also some beach in the lower part of my painting and those lines that you can see between the horizon line and the ground and the beach are actually waves so I'm also preventing my paper the entire paper and I'm just minding that there are no puddles on it that it's evenly wet that's quite important so make sure go over your paper a couple of times let it soak in nicely because it does need to be quite wet and while it's soaking the water I have prepared my paints I am using this blue something like ultramarine and brown uh, I guess something like a sepia First I mixed those to create a beautiful grayish color and also in the upper part of my butterfly I placed some ultramarine and then on the right side, right upper part, I have mixed in a little bit of yellow, warm yellow and a little bit of ultramarine to create this somewhat greenish tone but it's not really green, it's more yellow so there is just a tiny tiny little bit of ultramarine in it first I've added that to my sky and then in between adding mix of ultramarine and sepia and then on top a little bit of just ultramarine and you can see I'm not painting the entire sky I'm actually painting clouds and just topping my brush a full brush with the belly of my brush just then with the tip of my brush and since the paper is quite wet it is soaking in the paint it is bleeding and creating the beautiful cloud shapes so just make sure that you leave some spot also white we don't want to paint the entire sky we do want to make it look like there are clouds and that that sky is actually somewhat transparent and then moving on to the lower part where my sea is first I did do one layer actually that part was almost dry so with uh, one layer of that yellow mixed in with the blue I have again pre-wetted the paper and added that very very transparent wash and then on top using again mix of ultramarine and sepia to paint in the reflections to paint in the first layer for my waves so just adding color here and there this is going to be uh, just the first layer for the sky I won't be adding any more layers so right now I'm just stopping in adding a little bit more of the pigment to my clouds because as watercolors dry they of course become lighter and if you notice that your sky started to dry don't do that don't add the color now just leave it to dry completely and when it dries completely wet it with a clean water just a light light coat of water don't scrub it with your brush just add a light wash of water and then do add a little bit more of the paint also tapping in some of the more paint in the lower part I left it to dry completely and now that it is dry completely I'm gonna paint in the waves and there are two ways that you can do waves I will show you both of those I turned my paper around and then just painting in the line for the first wave it's uh, the paper is completely dry because I don't I want that upper part of the wave to be quite harsh for the line to be quite harsh and for me it is easier to turn my paper around and paint in the wave like that and then just with a clean water I am smudging the lower part because there I don't want a harsh line I want a softer line so you could have seen I've turned the paper again around added a little bit more of the pigment and with the clean water I'm just moving that around a second way is to leave your paper the way it is you don't have to turn it around and then just add uh, again that line for the wave and I'm just adding a little bit more of the pigment because I do want that wave to be quite dark and we don't want them to be those lines those waves we do want them to be quite dark don't make them light because that's it is somewhat maybe an evening or 
maybe a morning. So those waves in the sh in their shadows are quite quite dark. So make sure you use quite contrasty colors compared to the rest of your sea. It has to be dark. Don't be afraid to use quite saturated colors. And you can see how those uh, couple of lines are very very thin. Those waves are quite low. They are not high waves. So I'm not gonna make them high. I do want them to look quite low because that's just a light movement of the sea. They're not huge waves, just light movement of the sea. A couple of them, those that are a little bit further away, are going to be a little bit higher. But those that are coming to the shore, nearer to the shore, are quite, quite, well, I guess, low. So with this uh, brush, this is a Levinson paint brush. I believe it's a small coat uh, synthetic hair brush. I will put the link down in the description box together also with all the materials I'm using for this painting. So all the materials you can find down in the description. I'm just picking up. Uh, again, my paper is dry, so just keep that in mind. I did not wet it. And I'm just picking up the paint with my brush and with the entire belly of the brush and uh, just using the dry brushing technique. Actually, since there is no not a lot of water in my brush and there is not a lot of water in my paints, I'm just doing the lines and creating those beautiful uh, dry brush uh, strokes, making it look like there are some tiny little waves, just movement of the sea. Right now I'm adding a distant, uh, I guess, land and then with, this is a Raphael round brush and um, I believe this is sepia, I'm just adding in the beach and as you can see for the line where the water is, I did not go all the way to the blue part, I do want a little bit lighter, wider part in between those, uh, in between the beach and the water, because that will create the impression that that's just the water that is slightly moving away from the beach. That's not really a sea. It's just water that came to the beach and it's pulling away from the beach. Also adding a couple of layers and I did not make a harsh line for the beach. You can see how there are some lines sticking out it looks a little bit more believable. And as I'm adding layers to my beach, I'm also leaving some of the some of the lighter colors in some parts and in some parts, a little bit darker colors. Again, painting that distant part of the beach and a little bit more of that sepia, darker one. And now adding just a little bit more of the details to the sea and some, this is just doing a little bit of the shadows. You can see those are quite subtle shadows between my waves. Quite, quite subtle. And right now with this detail brush, I'm painting in some birds. There, there's gonna be a lot of birds there. So some are gonna be just a dot and some are gonna be a little bit bigger. Those that are near to us are gonna be a little bit bigger and those that are further away are just dots. And I will paint them through the majority of the sky. So just paint them as much as you like. It's going to be a quite a lot of birds in our sky. And later on, I will also add the reflection to the birds on the water. Just that part that is nearest to the shore, not the entire water, not the entire sea, but just the part that is nearest to the shore. Again, I will just dot with the tip of my brush. Right now you can see that just with the tip of my brush I'm tapping in and then with this uh, towel I'm just picking up the paint because I do want those uh, those dots and those that reflection to be quite subtle. I don't want dark dots. So with that I'll be finishing off this painting. It's <laughs> it is a lot more simple than it might seem. So quite quite simple painting. I believe even if you're a beginner you can definitely follow this. So guys, I hope you like this video and if you do like it, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome and mean very, very much to me. And I believe, well, I guess thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.